What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Tap Tap servers again. Finally, finally been able to get my hands on a way to make some payments. We have 2,500 of these, what are they called again? I forget. Starry Gems. Starry Gems. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, 25 means we can actually do something pretty fun today, and that is a big old summoning session with the new animations. We can do 25 of these. Now, honestly, what I'm probably going to do is just keep destroying them because this is our tap tap account. We don't really care about progress or anything. We just like to jump on, see new things and move on. So I think what we're do is like in the example of the one we've already made, we're just going to refund our resources so we can potentially keep doing this over and over again. So <laughs> I want to see if we can get something really high ranked. I mean... S and above is what a point zero zero one five. Even like an A rank is really really good. I mean a B minus is still one point six two percent. Like that's kind of crazy low. So let's see how these odds roll out. Again, remember the awakening quality is a combination of the three different roles for your overall stat. If you get something with S or above, that means like everything was S pretty much. Maybe an A or something stuck in there, but um. Yeah, let's get going. Let's watch these animations. Yes, I want to consume them. Uh, I think this is, again, I think it was like we just click anywhere on the screen, and then it does the animation, right? Um, So what can we tell? We got one, two. Oh, we got a purple. That's that's not bad. We got a C. So as you guys remember, the each tier has, like, different colors for them. So we'll go over right here to the auction house real quick. You can see when we go in here, like, each tier has different colors. Uh, I wonder if anybody has, like, an A. The A is red. So in that animation, we'll see the color of that hero, essentially. So let's just go with sword flashes. We'll go with Shia's the entire time right here. Let's get going. Hopefully, we can hit something really good. Come on. I want I want to see an orange pop up. I really do. Purple? No, oh, that's no good. That's no good for us. <laughs> Plus, we get extra properties based on the overall rank of the hero copy. So far... Not so great. All right, let's go to our third Shia copy here. All right, can we get something good here? Please, let me see a new color. I want a new color. New color. Come on. Ooh, blue. Wait, blue? What's blue? Blue's E. Oh, no, blue's the worst. <laughs> we don't want blue. I kind of forgot about that. Gee, so we got blue, yellow, purple. It feels like purple would be the worst. I don't know why. It just feels that way. B, A, okay. Let's uh, trash all these to get some more summons back. We're just going for something super premium here if we can get it at all. So we get some refunds going here. I'll take it. Let's keep going with more. Wait a minute. Can you not redo a hero? <gasps> Wait, is that a thing? Hold on. It disassembles the hero copy? Oh my goodness. Um... Maybe not the best idea to remove them then because then you start losing the actual copies of the hero. That is interesting. I did not realize this destroys the hero. If the hero has a certain degree of development, only five star awakened heroes can return to stars. Awakened heroes of all quality can be returned to stars and converted into corresponding contract star diamonds. If the hero has a certain degree, hmm, interesting. Doesn't say anything about losing the hero. Let me relog and we'll be right back. So yeah, looks like it just completely gets rid of the hero copy when you do recycle it. So you're going to want some extra hero copies if this is what you're planning on doing. Us, though, what we're going to do is let's just keep going through the factions. We do have, oh, not Gusto. What the heck? What the heck? That was a total misclick. I meant to scroll. I want a queen copy. We got a queen copy. All right, Soul Awakening the Queen. Let's be something really good here. Come on. Good colors, good colors. Blue, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. <laughs> That's the worst we could possibly get. Uh, okay, Queen. Who else could be good copies here? Let's see. Do we have any Vessas? We do. Oh, God. I misclicked again. Let's slow down. I'm getting excited from this. Let's go and pick the Vessa copy. See if we can roll something really good for the Vessa here. Oh, blue again. 
No, it feels bad. We're getting super low rolls. But when you look at the percentages, I mean, like, you're most likely going to get blues on just about everything. What other factions do we have? Shadow, we don't have any Jaras. Do we have any Aspens? Ooh, we got an Aspen right here. Maybe we can get a good copy here. Come on, show me something good. Ooh, purple. Purple, purple, blue. That's not too bad. We got CC and an E, but that does make it a D plus hero. So you guys can see how the rolling of this could be pretty crazy. I don't think we really have anybody else, right? We don't have EOS copies or Asmodel copies. All right, wait, we do have Asmodel. We got one. We got one. Let's see what can happen here. Can we get something good, please? Pretty please? Oh, no. A bunch of E's and a D. Oh, wait, we have a full EOS right here. What am I talking about? Okay, Let, let's, I mean, we equipped to our hero so we could do a test here if it's like a good one we want to trade, maybe. Ooh, purple. Purple, yellow, purple. Not too bad. CCD. So what happens here? This is what I'm interested in. So I guess, interesting. You can get the resources back here, but you lose the copies. You can't do that with an imprinted. Oh, wait, you can do each copy. And then like the best copy goes to the top. Let's see what happens. Let's let's do like all nine copies of the EOS right here and see how it actually works out. Ah, blue, that's not good. That's not good at all for us. All right, we got really low tier stuff. Um, can you now like switch this over or something? Like, or is it just the main one? Total looking to you and above will only be We'll only get, wait, hold on, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because only if you get a D plus, D minus plus, you get the extra properties like here. All right, let's just go through. Let's see what happens when we do all of these. Come on, show me an orange. I want to see an orange so bad. Yellow's not horrible. Yellow, yellow, blue is horrible though. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Let's keep awakening these copies with our EOS. Oh, blue again. It's going to be like a rare day when you see something with super, super high stats. Like, it really is going to be crazy. Blue, that's not going to be good. I, I feel like the best one is always shown first, but maybe it's just the certain one. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Come on. Come on. Should we like red or blue or green? Not blue. Green. Well, red or green or orange. Those are the three we're really looking for. Oh, come on, come on. Let's see something good here. Uh-oh. Oh, it's all blue again. No. No. All right. So, so far, the C- minus is still our best one for this hero. Blue again. That's not going to be great for us. Those are all E's. Absolutely horrible. And then the last one right here. Let's do one more summon. Let's see if we can hit something good. <laughs> oh, blue. My goodness. All right. So... I don't imagine you can scrap any of those. No, you can't scrap any of them. And I guess you only get what? The seven speed, I'd imagine, on her? 1549. Yeah, so she only gets one grade. She basically gets like the highest grade of what you have. That That seems to be exactly what happens here. So you'll notice here on the main screen, um, it kind of rotates between the level and the quality. So that's kind of interesting how they do that. What other heroes should we try doing this with? We have Rogans. We have a Rogan, but do we do we have like, no, we don't. Panda? Maybe a Panda would be a good one to trade off. Let's see. Granted, I'm probably not going to trade any of them off anyway, but let's just see what we can get for copies, what we can get for summons. It's a full E tier again. Okay, all right. I see how this is. Maybe we should just do like one for each one of our heroes to power our account up just a little bit. Russell, can we get some good for Russell? It's yellow. Ben Purples. Ah, oh, not too bad. Not bad. So we've yet to see, we've yet to see a green, a red, or an orange on any of these here. Let's go back in here now. Let's pick the Garuda. Let's do one copy of Garuda here. See if we can get lucky. I mean, it's a triple yellow, so that's not too bad. It's all Ds. I mean, it's better than some of our other luck. I keep forgetting. All I have to do is, like, click on a copy. That's all I got to do. It's going to be a full E, isn't it? Oh, we got one C or D. Sorry, yeah. <sighs> all right. Who can we go for? Well, let's, let's see some more tradable copies. Sherlock. Carrie's not really as useful anymore. 
Ignis ticks, maybe? I don't know. Get into the low tier heroes now, aren't we? Yeah. Ithaqua? Let's do an Ithaqua. Maybe get lucky. Get something really good. No. <laughs> Not at all. All right. We still have five more to go. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Should we do carry copies? Amon Ra. Is there anything that we really have good copies of at this point? Not really on this account. An Olivia, maybe. Ignis, we could do. Sherlock's. I mean, Sherlock in PvP. Kind of important. Let's awaken it. See what happens. Ooh, purple. Purple, purple, yellow. Not bad. That's like a C tier. That's really good. That's actually probably one of the best ones we've rolled so far is that Sherlock right there. Uh, let's go back. Let's do another Sherlock. Give him some more stats. Let's see what happens. Come on, be something good. No. Oh. Second you see blue, you just feel bad immediately. It's like, well, I did the normal roll. I did the normal thing. Let's get another one. Come on, Sherlock. Give me some luck here. Come on. Yellow. No. <laughs> nope. Not good. Okay. Now, who should we move on to? Should we just go to our Rogan? Let's go to our Rogan. Let's do one on our Rogan and one on our Drake. Ah, all ease, all ease, all day. Okay. And let's do... We already did one on Garuda, right? Yeah. One on you. We got one on you. So does that show up as a C tier for our Russell then? Yeah, so you'll see we got these all new badges pretty much to show you what stats and you can click in and see what the stats are. <sighs> Do we have any good premium heroes sitting in here? Another panda we could do. A solo, and you know what? Let's do the solo Drake copy. Let's do that. Final one right now. We'll do a Drake. Feeling lucky. I'm feeling like we can get at least get purples for thematic reasons. He's going to be at least a C, maybe higher. Let's go. Mm, no, no, they're all D's. <laughs> all right, so. <sighs> oh, you can actually refund all the resources because you're like destroying the actual copy. That's interesting. So 150 back for that one. Basically nothing for all the E's and stuff. So yeah, maybe we'll do some more summons tomorrow. I think we'll do that just to see if we can get lucky a little bit more. We do have our copies now here. You can see even like the five-star hero copy, this Drake right in the middle, it flashes to the D so you can tell exactly what they are. I don't know. It seems interesting, but let's be honest, guys. Uh, the percentages are very, very, va like you can see the percentages of what it's going to take to high roll like three Bs or something like that. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Even hitting one A like some people have is just absolutely nuts. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about the new Soul Temple Summoning or Awakening or whatever you want to call it. And I'll see you guys next time.